project we're doing for the mod shop. Yeah. Oh, we got a love of tractor. Yeah. Hey. So we have uh, a situation here now where if I got a little bit of time over the Christmas holidays, mm -hmm. I can come out go. And play with that project a little bit. It's going to be but, nice. Uh -huh. It's going to be nice. Oh, it's going to be nice. Yeah. So we're going to show various steps of it. So basically what we did is we just designed this, nested it, and now we uh, will take it up and We'll start doing some magic with it. We got some special little tricks we're going to do with it. So maybe you'll find it interesting. Maybe you won't. We shall see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll be back. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, we're back. Although it didn't seem like we were gone very long because we were just there cutting. And the next thing, yeah, we got these. But it's the next day. It's, well, that's right. Right? That's right. It's uh, it's December 22nd, 21st. 21st today. Right? So we're not supposed to be out here, but we had to come out here and get a few mods packed up. Some last minute choppers. But la last year it was crazy during actually Christmas Day and Boxing Day. <laughs> so right. we kept at it. But anyway, so we came out and so I said, well, I'm out here and I might as well stay out and do my project. So this is what we have. This is basically going to be a stool. Um, yeah, and sometimes I'm doing wiring harnesses and stuff right here. And this is this is a little bit high, and which which it was intended to be high. But sometimes I'd like to be able to get off my feet for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm making a stool high enough. Let's go over, Kathy, so that I can sit on the stool pull out the running board and then I can just sit on the stool and do my little bit of wiring harnesses. Yes, true. Just to take a load, what they call taking a load off. <laughs> yeah, right? take a load off. But like everything I seem to do, it seems to get complicated as I get going. <laughs> right? It does. It does. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to add a little pizzazz to it. <laughs> yeah, you're complicated. Right? You know? So. And that's what we're doing. So what we plan on doing is, if you look around here, you'll see things got a, a vintage industrial look to them. Like rivets and old, well not old, but old looking lamps. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you look at the mirror there, that's right. there's rivets on the mirror. There's rivets here on this picture. Yeah, so it's very riveting. Yeah, you know. We like rivets. So, you know, Doc says she'd like to have a stool, stool sample, so I'm going to give her a stool sample. Well, we got the stool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got three right there. Yeah, right on. We're building a new one. Yeah, but this is going to be a new sample. Oh, we're doing a new yeah. sample. Yeah, I already gave her them three stool oh. samples there. <laughs> so you're getting a new one. So basically what we're going to do... A fresh stool sample. Yeah. We're going to use some solid round metal rivets, steel rivets. And uh, I'm going to show you what they kind of look like. There's a box of a, a hundred I think is there. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're kind of they're, cool. they're kind of nice, right? And my intentions are to So my intentions are to come in and space them out, you know, equally, come up along here like that, so on and so forth, and up to about here, and probably down here. I might add three here and then continue on up this side. So it's, it's like I'm creating a lot of extra work here, right? But I was never, I was never one for taking shortcuts. Now, 
The problem is, is I really don't have much experience at using, using solid rivets. Uh, probably in a previous life when I was working on the Titanic, I might have, but I took a like into this stuff, right? So, and I, of course, I might be just the one that left a, lo a loose rivet on Titanic. Come to think of it, I don't, I don't know, right? So now I'm got, I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't already tried them, because I have. And there's a few things that I've learned, okay? And I'd like to pass it on to you too, because we haven't done a lot of these videos lately of how to's or you know videos where we're putting hints and clues and stuff in. So hopefully this will be one of them. Maybe it won't be too boring. I don't know. You guys will be the finest, final judge of that. So we got a test piece, and what we're going to do is we're going to go do three rivets. Okay. So first of all, we have the advantage here. We don't have to drill them. So we have a, a one quarter punch in the machine. And we're just basically gonna punch a couple of holes, maybe three holes, and we're gonna see how they work. So let's go over and punch these three holes first. I'm not gonna be too particular on the spacing. Now, a couple of things you need to know before you start beating on rivets. First of all, we're going to be using a pneumatic hammer. I call them a burp gun. Gun. Some people call them a fart gun, but burp gun is all I ever call them. Uh, there's a special gun that looks kind of like this for doing these these rivets, but you know. I'm too cheap, I didn't want to pay $150 or $200 for the gun, so I'm going to use what I got. And what I do is I don't use full, uh, full air pressure, which our full air pressure here is 175 PSI. So I got this down between 100 and 110. So that makes it controllable, okay? Now, technically, rivets are only used, or to be used, when you are wanting to put Two pieces of metal together okay and then you squat them and it keeps the metal together that's that was always the intention don't they look nice when they're in there eh? um, I didn't know how they were put together yeah and it's it was the old-fashioned way of doing things right so now we that we are into the vintage industrial theme here with valves on the walls and stuff I want the stool to match the surrounding area uh, a couple of things. The hole should be tight enough that you can push it in, push the rivet in, but not loose enough for it to fall out. Perfect. So, you know, you should always be aware of where the rivet is to on the work. In other words, you can have it uh, like that. Have it up close, make sure it stays up close. Now in this case, we're not going to have two pieces. So in one sense, it makes work a little bit easier because we don't have to keep two pieces clamped together. All I'm really doing this for is for, now this is the word of the day, aesthetics. <laughs> Quick, wow. write that down. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll also have to get uh, a punch. Mm -hmm. Now, Keep in mind, there's a number of different types of heads for rivets, solid rivets. And you can look that up on the internet. Just look up solid rivets and it'll tell you the different, different types. This particular solid rivet is what they call a round head rivet, okay? And if you look at that end of that punch, that is a AN430 punch. Now, why is it an AN430? Because that's an AN430 head. And what happens is, it actually fits the head perfectly. 
Now, why do you need that? Well, because if you used a flat punch, you would flatten the head of the rivet, which is not good. <laughs> no, I don't say no it's not good. It's not good. A couple of things you need to keep in mind when you are punching these is you have to keep the punch flat and yeah, okay. vertical, perfectly vertical if you can, because what happens is, is if it tips a little bit, mm. what? Well, you're going to dent your... It's going to dent, and, you, and that's referred to as a smiley face. Ooh, that's not good. And what happens is you're going to see a mark right there, because that's where the... And you won't have the... Well, you won't have the aesthetics you're looking for, that's you right. know? You'll have a funny looking stool, a stool sample. <laughs> and it'll look like crap. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Pretty proud of that. I'm telling you. Should end the video right there. That's good enough. You're on a roll. Here I'm today. telling you. Wicked, eh? So anyway, so that's where we're <laughs> that's where we're to. So again, your your, your ribbon your needs ribbon. to match. They need to mate. They need to be the same. Perfect. Don't go using a uh, a chuck. You can get a, like a chuck without a spring. Use the spring one. Oh. And he's going to go in like that, okay? Now, we'll be back in one second. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, or we're going to attempt to do, is we're going to attempt to spread that solid rivet. We don't want to beat the metal up here. We don't want to beat the head up. That's why we use this special head. But we need to have a backing. Now usually what people will use when they're using this setup is they'll use what they call a bucking bar. And a bucking bar is just basically a piece of steel with different shapes and curves and stuff on it so that you can get in behind, you can hold the bucking bar on, and then you can go rat tat 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 And then that's how it's done. But guess what? We don't have that. We don't have one. Maybe Santa's going to bring me one. They're not expensive. And I, been, uh, and I was a good boy for two days last week. <laughs> well, it's going to so take more than two days. No, but it's not an expensive tool. It don't require being good for a long time. No, why? No, no. Well, what, what value, what gauge is good for a long time? Well, I don't know. I've never been good for a long time. I, don't, I, I can't go that far. I mean, you're asking me a hypothetical question. Yeah, I was thinking the value. You said, you know, it's, it's short. Well, I mean, I'm talking like if you're good for a couple of hours, that's a twenty-five dollar tool, right? Two days is a hundred and fifty dollar tool. Two days is an tractor implement. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Good luck so with that, that. So that's that's the yardstick in which I measure. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we have our regulated air hose here. And we have our punch. And we have our rivet ready to go. Got to put on some safety glasses. Been using a lot of them lately. Trying to keep myself alive and blind free. And we're going to go over here, okay, to our anvil of all places. Remember the one that used to be out by the door for years and everybody said, why is your anvil out by the door for years? That's right. This is it. This is it. So again, keep in mind that rivet should be flush up against the metal. So what I usually do when I start at it, I usually pull up on the, the metal while I'm pushing the rivet down. Now, folks, if it's four o'clock in the morning and you're watching this, turn down the sound. <laughs> you know, if, there's, if you don't, it's your own fault. And if there's any dirty emails or nasty emails, refer to Kathy. Okay, not me. Okay. <laughs> You're jumping into the bed now, scaring their wives. So here we go. Just guys, I'm telling you, this is not whisper quiet. Okay. Good morning. So here's what it looks like right now. Lower. There we go. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? You can't go higher. I always got to go lower. <laughs> no, but you know what is it like? Like that camera don't have like a ceiling, max, a maximum ceiling, like an aircraft. Don't question it. Like there's oxygen like a, a foot higher. Well, look. 
Okay, ready? It's working. You yep. ready? Ready. Oh my. See what happened? Oh yeah. Now. Yeah. Now what? Now we beat them down again. Oh, you're lucky enough to have holes in your table. Oh, exactly. There's what he looks like. Mm -hmm. There's the back of him. Mm -hmm. that, that's exactly what I'm looking for. No rivet expert, but it looks good to me. That looks good. Doesn't it? It's riveting, I'm telling you. It's, it's riveting. It is riveting. Yeah, it is. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's very riveting. Yeah. Now what? We got to do another one? Well, I'm just going to. I'm hey, just going to. Rivets are growing. Listen, on I'm just going to show him. I, that well, wasn't. Yeah, do listen. You saw it? I'm just going to show him that wasn't just luck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can we reuse rivets? Well, you can. I don't want them. Okay. Ready? Again, if you keep them to the side, you got a problem. We'll do one. Put it to the side so you'll see. But anyway, we'll we'll do this one legal again. Yeah, that's legal. Wasn't just luck. No. Okay. Now we're gonna mess one up. Yeah, we're going to show you what it's going to look like when you put a smiley face on one. Okay. Mm. See how I'm holding the gun? Yes. It's not straight. No. Now what do you got done? Oh, that's not good. See the smiley face? Yes. You don't want to go there? No. Okay. So. That's not happy. Now just to make you really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. So if you go too far, you know, you, you just spread them out a bit further, right? These two here, it's perfect. Again, and these are pretty close to perfect. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's our little that's our little demo for that. So now what we gotta do is we gotta take our stool leg. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay it up there. Uh, we're just going to try to figure out the spacing for those, uh, those rivets. So basically we're just going to try to, like I say, come up along here. Mm -hmm. This has got a bit of a bend in it, so it's going to be a bit complicated. Uh, and we're, we're going to do a pile of rivets just like we did on that small test plate. Mm -hmm. And that's going to take, take a while. That's but there's right. a few things that I can show you, like Fellows will say, well, okay, how are you going to do the spacing? Well, we'll come back and we'll show you how we plan on doing the spacing. Sounds good. Did you find your doofliggy? What do you want to hear? <laughs> Play me a tune. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like this tool. This is kind of neat, this one. This is what tailors and seamstresses and <laughs> use. What's wrong with you? Spit it out of here. <laughs> uh, this is what synthesis and people use to get spacing. See? Oh, Isn't that cool? That is cool. So, I gotta tell you a little story about this before we start. The table is high. The reason why it's high is because I, st I stand by this for many hours per day. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've been busy in the shop, so I said to, we have a, a, another guy that, that, that's on our payroll, Terry. I said to Terry, look, Terry, drop this stool for me. And I said, I want a 36 inches high. No, I said, drop the stool for me. So Terry dropped the stool when, 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 it, when it came in on the computer, it was that high. Mm -hmm. I said, well, that's too low, standard height, right? So then I said, well, I need a 36 inches high. So I said, I'll get right on it, but I went over to the computer and I went in on uh, whatever it is, uh, Corel. Corel, and I shrunk it down to 36, oh no, I, I stretched it to 36 inches high. <laughs> so anyway, as you saw in the beginning of the video, we cut it and it came out 36 inches high. So I came over and I said, holy smokes, I wouldn't need a ladder to get up 36 inches high, so I just cut three inches off it. <laughs> Oh my. So a lot of this is trial and error as you're going. 
So you really add it only need an extra inch. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So, Inches as good as a mile. Well, it really seemed low, you know? Oh, look, I mean, I mean, his was 32. How high is that? So 36 would have given us an extra four inches. That was lower, I think. Yeah, it gotta be, eh? Oh, Lord. This is only uh, 25. Sure, that's not worth it now. Holy moly. So anyway, this one, this one now is uh, 30, 35. Well, you took off three inches. It must be what, 30, 33? 34. 33 and a quarter. Three three and a see, quarter. see the line, look, see the line where I cut it, what? Oh my god. Yeah, but see, sometimes I has a pair of boots on that's a little bit lower to the ground. Your high heels? Yeah, so I had to do up a quarter inch. I went and measured all my boots, the soles of my boots, mm -hmm. and that's how it works out. So, so now. So you had to pick a happy medium. Yeah, so that's about as happy as you're going to get around here. <laughs> now, what's that? So just bring over the, the camera, right? And we'll show them. So, there's a number of ways you can do this. As you stretch them out, all of these become equally apart. Don't they? Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you, but I don't know if I want to spread. I don't want, don't to, want punch to punch that, that many, many, right? No. Yeah. So, so yeah. see what happens? Yeah. yeah. No, no, you don't need to touch it. Hmm. You don't need to touch it. Don't, don't you touch it. Don't you touch. This, this is my tool. I wasn't touching. Don't touch my tool. tool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Now see that kind of seems like a nice space. Wouldn't you think that's a nice space? Yeah, it's this beautiful space. Isn't it? Yeah. It's so very what space. I usually do is like that. Mag it there. Yeah, and like like and that. Mag it there. All right. So now we're down to how many? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not bad. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-five per leg. Okay. Yeah. So we just see. So we got look three inches there. Okay. Three inches there. Three inches there. Three inches there. Is you don't to us, are you? Listen. What in the frig do you think this is? A trick tape? <laughs> well, I mean, unless I see it in pictures. Just, I'd love something. to have a tape now where I could stretch it. <laughs> well, you know, what? pictures or it didn't happen, so we had to have a picture. Well, my brother one time, my older brother, years ago, was trying to, I can tell you this story, folks. Oh, my. <laughs> he was trying to do a wheel alignment on his car without doing alignment on his car. <laughs> a proper alignment. So he said, i tell you what to do, he said, I'm going to hold the tape up to the tire on the car. Okay. You, he, he said, you, you hold on to the tape. He said, I'm going to go over, he said, I'm going to read the other side. Yep. And he said, then I'm going to measure the back. And he said, I bet you I could do an alignment that way, right? Now, my brother's a real hard case. So, I did exactly what he asked me to do. I held the tape there and he went over and said, okay, put it on the back of the tire. But when I got onto the back of the tire, I pulled the tape about like there. <laughs> and he was hours baffled, trying to figure out why he could, man, he said, this car is really out. <laughs> I think it took a couple hours before I told him the truth, but I'll never forget it. He was, well, well, he was a little bit upset. You think? When it was uh, when it was all said and done, yeah. No, I th I'm sure of it. <laughs> but anyway, so isn't this a great tool? Oh, great! You know. Now I'm going to uh, do it this way. So all I'm going to do here now is I'm going to just mark these, not for their position. Uh, just for the location of spacing, because what we have to do now is going to be a little bit tricky in one sense. Are you only spaced or are you even, even distance from the back wall, too? No. See, this is where. Yeah, that's a problem. 
The only thing I like about these is you're not thinking about what you're doing, you can squat your fingers, right? Okay? Now, so I think what I need to do now is figure out where exactly these needs to be. So that's right, because the top head is a little bit wider than the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm thinking five eight, which would give me round about there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The problem is we have with this is this goes like that. It's not a straight edge. So I'm gonna mark Listen folks, you guys asked for something like this. You know, we don't do any more videos like you used to do where we can learn some this and that and everything else. So now I'm going to do it and you're going to say, Hey, this is freaking boring. Why don't you go back to the mod videos? <laughs> <laughs> right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark right here. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Not good. Mm. Right. Not good. Easy. Dry it up. Stop making yourself dry it up. Okay, so now we're going to just mark the locations there. You know, nothing, nothing too serious. Okay. All right. Now I, under, I understand and I realize that everybody at home don't have a, uh, an iron worker. And I, I really feel sorry for you. Yes, we sympathize with you. You know, but I drill and do. We have we have one and we're gonna use one. You know. Yeah. I mean, I suppose in one sense I could use a non electrically powered drill, <laughs> but I'm not gonna use it. No. I don't wanna go back to that. Well if that's all someone has, just to have Well you know, and that's fine, I, right? And if that's all ever I had to use, I'd use it. You'd use it. But you're not going to use it if you don't need to use it. No. So, now we have our, our equal, equal spacing. What I like about that particular tool, sorry, what I like about that tool is the fact that you don't have to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's your three inches, right? All the way down, huh? Perfect. Now, what I have to do now is I have to go over and I might have to make a little jig to hook on to the iron worker so I can get my exact five eighths of an inch. And uh, when I get that made up, we'll come back and I'll show you how it's gonna work. Okay, very simple, very simple. We determined that we're gonna need our rivet five, inch, five eighths of an inch in. So I'll just think as this is part of the leg. So I just basically made up this foolish little looking thing. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get this. So if you get down here, let me get my machine over here. We wanna find out where 5.8 is. Do you see down here? So that's 5.8 there. So we're going to let this go up to that. Then we're going to clamp down. It's a word I hear quite often being married. I'm clamping down on you. <laughs> you have to clamp on yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, every fella out there could say, yeah, boy. They yeah, know exactly they know. Oh, yeah. Put the clamps on him. You're not the only one. No, I know. <laughs> you think you are. Yeah. So, we'll just try this now. So, that's our test piece. Yeah, it's pretty close. 5 8. So, that's going to do it. So, how we're going to do it here now is we're going to go along like this. See, we couldn't use a straight edge because that's not straight. 
So we want to put in just that little outfit there so it can follow the contour. Yes. Exactly. You know what I mean, Vern? Yes. Okay. Now, I know the light is going to arse you up a bit. Oh, it's perfect there, I can see. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? It's all about me. <laughs> and the viewers. And the viewers, yeah. So let's just see how this is going to work out. Yeah. No work out, you're going to see a grown man cry. Okay. I see one problem. Yeah. This is called a stripper, right? And the stripper is too uh, too high. <laughs> For those of you with iron workers, one time I used to use this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, I was here one day, and uh, I just had a freak out moment. <laughs> you. And I said, Gotta be why way. am I doing it that way? And, uh, you got your hand? Hang on now. So I made up this. Perfect. And if I want to use the, the gun, I just unhaps it and take it somewhere else. But it's kind of dedicated. And this is an old army surplus tensioner, traction device they call it, so it's probably for a hospital or something to hold your leg up, right? Or whatever body parts needs to be held up. Uh, you know, when I say leg up, uh, it, it can be used for other things, okay. right? Yeah. You know, a fellow said, well, you know, you can, you can haul your ear back up like a German Shepherd, you know, <laughs> right? It's a lot of things What are you thinking about? Mind? Nothing. Huh? Nothing at all. Okay. Okay. Just making sure, you know. You know what you're like sometimes. <laughs> so. Okay, so yeah. we're verifying that we're at 5.8? Yeah, yeah, pretty good there now. So we're, we're closer now. So now we're going to. What did your stripper do? It holds it down? It holds it down, yeah. Well, it. it not only does it hold it down, it don't really hold it down, it keeps it from popping up. See my marks there. Right? Well, there's good strippers and bad strippers. <laughs> I mean, if you if you had a bad stripper, you wouldn't have to worry about it getting up. What's wrong with you? Keep going. <laughs> you know, if you had a good stripper, you wouldn't get it down. So that's why this is a good stripper. It keeps it both up and down. So you, you, you got a good stripper. Are you okay? <laughs> no, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> you okay? Man. See, folks, this is why we don't do these videos. <laughs> I can't keep her serious anymore. I'm trying to be serious. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Well, look oh, I didn't call it a stripper. Well, it is. Everybody calls it a stripper. Well, I wasn't expecting the explanation, I guess. Well, it's the truth. You said, does it keep it down? And I said, well, it keeps it from coming up. And then you said, well, why did he call his stripper? Yeah. I said, well, if you've got a bad stripper, you don't have to worry about it getting up, coming up. You got to... <laughs> and that's when everything went crazy. That's when the earth fell out of her. <laughs> Yeah. See? Beautiful. 
And that's how it's going to work. So now we're going to, now I'm going to show you a cheat card. Cheat card now. I'm going to show you the cheat card. We're moving on from the stripper to a cheat card. Cheat card. Karen never answered. You lost your. your, 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 your. Now we don't need to oh, use. Oh, yes, we're cheating. Yeah. Oh, now we don't yeah. need to use that anymore. No, no. Psychedelic, isn't it? Yes, it is psychedelic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to go and we're going to. Yeah, there you go. Give her. All right. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, probably a work stone for you. Flipper? He was a he was a dolphin. That was a shell. Then where this is CNC cut. You would think it'd be the same. Hang on, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Back to that. I'm going to do this first. What are you doing? I'm going over punch them now, if you don't mind. I was just asking. Don't just don't go and okay. asking names of parts of iron workers. You know what you're like. You get right kinky and everything. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> In a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Cleveland Punch and Die has this what they call Punch Easy, mm -hmm. and it's a bit of lubricant that you can put on the uh, oh, on the punch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you'll get to see the difference. Saves wear. Saves wear and makes it go smooth. So that's it. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to punch the remaining holes on this side and that side and we'll be right back. Okay, this is what we have done. Well, we didn't show you how we did this, but we showed you on the sample piece. Exactly. It was exactly the same way. So Kathy put on her safety glasses and her gloves and and you can see by the top of the uh, anvil that we were hammering on it. Yes, don't that's not that. dense. That's just the paint knocked off it, right? But anyway, yeah, and they they all went great, huh? Fabulous. They went perfect. So the good side is we got this much done today because never really intended on doing anything with this today. No, that's so, what happens to get started. We were talking and uh, we kind of came up with an idea, maybe what we should do instead of having this one hour long, we'll have it probably a two or three part series 
and that way we can add more detail to it. That's right. And you know, and if there's anything that I think about in a tip along the way, I'll be able to let you know at the same time. So that way you're not only watching an old married couple trying to get along, but you're learning something along the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost correct, young married couple. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, who'd you marry? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. Yeah. But anyway, it's uh, it's done and it's it's on its way to be a real nice stool. And uh, we'll call this part one and we'll we'll be back. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow I might have another go at it. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, hopefully you'll like what you saw so far. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It all helps. You know, it's, it's what it's all about. And... Uh, if you're going to comment, be nice. I don't like bad comments. I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. Father always said, if you have nothing good to say, say nothing at all. Good advice. Good advice. So, folks, see you next video. You guys take care. God bless.